success of this year's convention, which is the 23rd annual of its kind. Yeah. So what, what will you say, sir? It's beyond imagination. It's beyond imagination. The Lord did it beyond our expectation. Because all of us, when we saw the uh, the cash crunch, we saw all that happened in the nation, we saw people were not having money, it was difficult to, uh, to say we want to go for convention. The issue of, how are you going to organize it? How are you going to organize a convention without financing? That was where we got stuck. That's where we got lost. But along the line, when we started to pray, it was this same of these same members and same officers of this area a uh, lot inspired. They said we can because some were saying let's postpone it. Let's postpone. I said, ah, postpone. But some said, no, how can we postpone convention because of money? They said we can have it. I was encouraged. And here we are. Some members brought little things, food, materials, these, that, and here we are. The convention is one of the greatest successful conventions. One of the conventions we have played host to guests. Highest number of visitors that we have ever entertained. Even when we had uh, money, had everything in the convention. More so that this, we didn't print invitation. No invitation card was printed. Nobody was invited. We only invited the officially selected guest speakers. All other people who had heard, not because we invited them. Take, for example, Pastor Amode, the Paja Eras with them. We didn't invite him. But he said that it's about 60 something years now. He has led by that group. And when he, 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 he was not a member then, we will be calling it Weeping Church. And when he joined Eleku, that's what I used to call them. He said, but when he now discovered that he himself that was criticizing that church, he said, that church now, and he saw he's a superintendent. He didn't know how to how to thank God. When he saw that alone, alone they said, Baba, you invite me, you don't invite me, I am attending your convention this year, uh, he said because it is historical. He said, he said because it is, it is historical. And he came. Look at Baba Murubu was here with us throughout. Baba Alaba International was with us here uh, throughout. Baba uh, Ajara, who was not feeling very strong, he was here. Spent some time with us. And it's a fantastic convention. Full of joy, full of God's glory full of the power of God. All the members, till the last point, nobody was feeling weak or tired. Everybody was still under the fire and flame of the Holy Ghost. Apart from the material blessing, the spiritual blessing of the convention is inexplicable. It's so fantastic. I've heard testimonies of lives who have been made comfortable in this convention. So God has been very, very wonderful. God has been very, very faithful. Here we are. We have started on Friday to this Sunday. Welcome service has taken place. So we return all praise, all glory, all honor, all majesty, all dominion, all power unto God. All those who came return safely. We have heard that they have all returned home safe and sound. So we, we really hold God in high esteem. We hold him in high esteem for making us find such favor in his sight. So it was a successful convention. That's wonderful. What, would you, what would be your message to the Baragi area members? My message is standing on the existing protocol of what our father, the Lona Administrative Secretary, has laid as a foundation. They should remain focused. They should not be deterred. They should not be discouraged. They should not remove their hands from the plow that they have set their hands that tomorrow is going to be better, that they should continue in what they have been doing. They should persist and hold firm to the word of God. They should not listen 
listen to the word of man. They shouldn't listen to the reasoning of man, but the word of God. They should stand on the word of God firm and strong. That, that is the only source of victory, breakthrough, and realization of the purpose of God. He talked about the temple, and he encouraged us a lot. Our, our grandfather, the Lona chairman, even sent us a message. He sent us a, a message concerning the, the temple. So it, it, it's a good one. I am encouraged myself. The, the ministers are encouraged. The members are encouraged. So finally, I want you to do a shout out to the people who are viewers who continue to watch Tagba TV. Subscribe, like, and share. Please subscribe live and chat with Tagba TV. It's one of the advanced uh, uh, set handled by experienced and God fearing hands. We have received commendation from abroad from many foreign countries, praising their work and really speaking how their messages are blessed. I encourage you, get tuned to Takba. Be one of us, be one of the followers, try and play your role accordingly and let this ministry bless, prosper, and set your feet on the route. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And I want to thank uh, Takba again, the management, the staff, all of them. They have been very tireless. Uh, they have been very, very co uh, uh, committed. There is nothing they are asked to do that they saw it that is impossible. I appreciate them for the spirit of God that they have. As I pray more, that the Holy Spirit will strengthen them the more, and the Lord will grant them fresh anointing for them to move this ministry forward to a laudable conclusion in Jesus' name. Thank you.